All right, about to start a uh, Parks on the Air activation. This is Kilo Zero Foxtrot Yankee Romeo, and I'm going to be doing uh, Parks on the Air from Chatfield State Park near Denver, Colorado. And I am just trying to get my logging software set up. So this is going to be K0FYR doing a Parks on the Air activation near Denver, Colorado, Chatfield State Park, K0FYR. Uniform Foxtrot. Okay, K0 FYR, K5 US. You're 5555 in Mississippi. Mike Sugar, over. Hey, I appreciate that 55 Mississippi. This is a brand new antenna. I'm only running 5 watts, and it's a uh, doublet, and uh, it seems to be doing pretty good then. Yeah, you're perfectly readable. Whiskey 4, Yankee Tango Oscars. Roger, Roger on the 5-5. Five, five. The band's are moving around. Please copy, please copy. 5-7, five, 5-7 seven, five, seven, Alabama. That's Alpha Lima. Roger, the 5-7 Alabama. I'm running 5 watts with a new antenna I just built, so I appreciate that. Great. You're doing great up here on this thing. On the highs, you're probably 5.9 on the highs. All right, I'm trying a uh, new antenna I just built. Uh, I am going to obviously put the build information in the uh, video as well. Uh, but this is a doublet, and so it is a non-resonant, 44-foot-long, uh, uh, two-leg, so 22 feet each leg. And I'm feeding it with a ladder line or a window line, and so the window line is coming down. And I've I've uh, repurposed an off-center fed dipoles uh, four to one ballon, and I'm running it through the MFJ 929 auto tuner. And right now uh, I'm uh, one to one SWR, and I'm putting out only five watts on it, and I've got. Uh, Whoa, Alabama and Mississippi so far. Whiskey 8, Sierra Romeo. Uh, this is WAGSR. Uh, you faded out there. You are 45 Ohio, 45 Ohio. I have your park number. Just need my report, please. Whiskey 8, Golf Sugar Romeo. You're 5555. Roger, Roger. I copy the 55. Uh, Roger, thank you, thank you. 7373. Seven, well, anyway, so. Uh, the doublet, uh, I want to say it's maybe 30, probably 34 feet long. I'll have to measure that again. Did some cutting on it yesterday. Uh, this repurposed uh, off-center fed matching unit that I have is just a temporary kind of installment. Just seeing if it would work. And I'm not sure if it is. Uh, it's enough, obviously, to get the radio on and out. Because uh, I've gotten uh, Ohio now, Alabama, Mississippi. Uh, but I am not sure if... So I think you can see the uh, the ladder line right here, or the window line. Right there. I tried to get... All the way over here to the bench with it. It might be a little bit long for where this bench is compared to where the, I have the antenna in the tray. It's not very high. Maybe between 15 and 20 feet. And I've got it as a an inverted V kind of right now. Whiskey Echo 5 Whiskey. Yes, Whiskey Echo 5 Whiskey in Arkansas. You're a 5-3 when the signal's up. Bravo Zero, India, Quebec, Kilo. Whiskey Bravo Zero, India, Quebec, Kilo. QRP? QSL, QSL, you're 5-5 Ohio. 5-5 Ohio. November 5, Sierra Lima, Yankee. Yes, November 5, Sierra Lima, Yankee. You're 5-5 five and five in Texas. Thank you, actually. So not sure when I stop the video or if I miss the uh, Texas contact. Okay, if you're looking at the uh, POTA app and you go to get on a park, don't get one megahertz away from somebody already at a park because that makes no sense. That's why we have an app. Okay, somebody jumped on my frequency, so I'm going to move. This is K0FYR relocating yet again. 
All right, so multiple people have jumped all over my frequencies. Maybe they can't hear me because I'm running QRP. But if you're also doing a park, look on the on the site and see if there's people there before you jump on either the same frequency or one megahertz away. That doesn't make any sense, and it's all listed right there on the website. November 6th, Kilo Zulu. Uh, November 6th, Kilo Zulu. I've got you... It sounds like you're sitting right beside me. It's got to be 5.9+. plus. Uh, you're calling in a park, Kilo 1212. Uh, QSO, you're about a 5 and 5, 55. Pretty good for QRP power in Arizona, Alpha Zulu. Hey, I appreciate the uh, Alpha Zulu. Yeah, I'm running 5 watts with a home-brewed uh, doublet I just made yesterday. Okay, on the 5 watts, doing a nice job. Hey, thank you very much and good luck. Uh, you're, getting, you're getting out. Okay, yet again, somebody jumped right freaking beside me, got within one megahertz of me on a park activation when I'm obviously spotted on the POTA app on a frequency. You don't get on the frequency right beside somebody. Yeah, 73, K0FYR, QRZ. Kilo 4, Alpha, Delta, Sierra. I copy you just through my at 5555 five, five, Orlando, Florida. QSO. Romeo, QRZ. Kilo Oscar 4, Linda Mike Kilo. Okay, you're up and down on me, uh, you're about a 5 3 in Tennessee. Oh, Whiskey 4, Zulu, X-Ray, Tango. QSO, QSO, thanks, I appreciate it, man. You're about a 5 and 7, 5 and 7 in the uh, state of Kentucky. Kilo Yankee, uh, have a good activation, uh, man. Just got uh, finished activating 12 total contacts. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the QSOs right here or the other side. And uh, let me show you kind of what I was running real quick. Uh, this is a brand new uh, home-brewed Dublin antenna. I uh, got the information online. Uh, and, I, and I will put, obviously, the link uh, maybe here in the, in the video. Uh, it is, uh, I think, uh, one wire... And something like that. I'll get the information for you. It's a 44 foot uh, doublet antenna. And so 22 feet on each side. And then you feed it with balance line. And so here's the window line. I've got it running up to the doublet up here in the tree. Let's see if I can. I'm or the uh, yeah. This that the whole there unit. There we go. All right. So it is a uh, a piece that you buy from uh, you know let's say HRO and this window line uh, kind of locks into it and then you run your elements uh, off to the sides I've got an inverted V right now just uh, for this activation and then I've got it fed with this uh, window line uh, fairly small uh, this is my hand on it right and it's running back here to the table uh, trying to keep it off the ground as much as possible. It got pretty close right there, but it is off the ground. I also don't have it touching this metal table. I repurposed uh, this uh, ballon that was part of a off-center fed dipole. And I was just trying to see if it would work. This is supposed to be a 4-to-1. Uh, but I have it into my uh, MFJ929 auto tuner. That is running into the IC705. Got a power supply here that was feeding both. Hammer zap over there. And I am just testing this antenna out. I just built this yesterday. And uh, let's see, the arm is coming off this way. Like I said, it's only 22 feet long. So it just feeds to right here. Got a little attachment to it just running to this tree. Going back up to that matching unit up there. Or not a matching unit, the uh, the where it just attaches and the other one just slopes down to another branch hanging over there maybe 18 to 20 feet off the ground and uh, just got uh, Kentucky along with uh, several other uh, states a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that seem almost directional so it was all pointing like kind of east and so I was getting a lot of uh, Ohio's 
Arkansas, Missouri, Kentucky area. Only got one to the west, one Arizona contact, but uh, he said it sounded pretty good. Got one down there in the Panhandle area or the uh, north of uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area. And everybody else was kind of east. And so this was just a real quick activation. I wanted to try uh, that repurposed uh, four to one, I think it is, that was in that off-center fed. Uh, just to see if I could run the, uh, the window line to it and get it to match. Tuned up one to one SWR on uh, most of those uh, frequencies. Every now and then it would jump up. And so I'm thinking that uh, either I'm too close to the ground or maybe it doesn't like the uh, metal table. Uh, in Denver, Colorado, going to be here for, oh goodness, the better part of eight or nine days for work. And so I should be uh, trying to do some more activations. I will be visiting uh, HRO tomorrow. I want to buy an official LDG uh, Ballon. So I'm going to buy a, buy a 4 to 1. I'm going to buy a 1 to 1 uh, and try either one. Uh, maybe if I get saucy, I'll buy a 9 to 1 if they have a, a 9 to 1 uh, a Ballon. Uh, I'm not sure. I know that they make 9 to 1 Un-Uns. Uh, but this should be balanced line to unbalance. And so I'm going to try those out, get those, uh, go to another park. Also, the attempting to do a summit uh, while I'm up in this area. And so, uh, backdrop, uh, the hills back there. And again, I'm about south central uh, Denver area. And going to be heading over to the hotel now. So, appreciate you watching. This is K0FYR73.